What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to take a look at the dawning spectacular uh, Tess Eververse loot which you can get from basically I think they're called dawning engrams which you can earn I believe three per week across all three of your characters or is it one per week? I'm not exactly sure but they do offer some amazing looking things. Now as you can see them here we're going to actually inspect everything but quickly let's check out this email which is hilarious by the way. But there's a few exotic, well there's an exotic emote I want to show you guys because it's absolutely epic. Not that I'll ever get it, <laughs> that's amazing. Not that I'll ever get an exotic emote because I'm still waiting for my first one now, well, since uh, Curse of Osiris. But yeah, let's check out exactly what you get. Now there's some epic things, there really is. So let's check out the armor first. And we're only going to be able to preview it here on my Hunter. But as you know guys, it looks amazing. Look at that. That looks absolutely epic and imagine the shaders you could use on it as well, it looked even better. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the ghost shells and emotes. Look at this emote. I really want this. You ready? You ready? You ready? There you go. And there you go. <laughs> that is epic. What else we got here? We got Excited Dance. There we go. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Uh, what else we got here? We've got Arnie's dance. That's a bit like my dancing, not gonna lie. <laughs> that is literally uh, like my dancing. And we've got Ice Capade, which we've seen already. We have this exotic gold shell, the Winter Lotus shell, which we can see on screen there. I don't know why I'm inspecting it, but yeah. Um, increase loot from public events on all destinations. That's actually pretty decent, to be honest. But do it, does it work? <laughs> I'm not sure it does. Um, and these you can basically see here within the thumbnails. No point in inspecting them all, really. As fancy as they are, they are pretty fancy. And um, what else have we got? We have ships and sparrows. So yes, let's have a look at a few of the exotic ships. A history of starlight. Let's have a look at you. Well, don't look that great to be honest, not going to lie. Um, Cerulean Flash. Okay, so now we're talking. Now we are talking, that is epic. Okay, that's pretty decent. And we have Dragonfly Shrident, does that say? Um, what is it? What, what, what is it, these small ass things? <laughs> Who wants a little ass ship like that? Who's going to be able to get in it? Um, that's what, brilliant, Narcissus, Narcicus, no, whatever. I, I, I don't get these small ships, what is going on? Joyfire, I'm guessing this is going to be small as well. When he wants to load. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Just all these skins are the same thing and these are, these three are exactly the same. Uh, same shape that is, different shaders, no doubt. Let's have a look. So that's pretty decent looking. I think that's the same as a new monarchy one. There's a new monarchy ship which come with the Curse of Osiris, which is pretty decent looking. And it's got the lions on its wings. So yeah. Charmina commencing. Mm, not great. There's a lot of junk in these, if you ask me. Mm, which you can, you can um, like I said, you can win these. These doing an engrams via do milestones. I think you can do one milestone per character, but I'm not certain on that. It could be one across all three characters, meaning you'd only get one per week, which would be a little bit scamming, if you ask me. Chill of winter, so I'm guessing it's probably three per week, which is a little better, but still, you ain't going to get everything you want out of these from three per week. Obviously, the incentive here is for you to purchase these bright engrams, which is, oh, these dawning engrams, which is a little bit, a little bit scummy, if you ask me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Now, if you could just purchase individual items, you could for straight up silver, which you obviously need real life money for, which that would be miles better. But the, the gamble, it's the point which really pisses me off, and the fact that you have to gamble your money, you never, you don't know what you're gonna get. I mean, I brought about 14 or 15 of these bright engrams about a week and a half ago because I had a gift card brought for me. I wasted it because I never got one exotic, nothing I wanted. It's just, it's just shocking, people. It really is. Like I said, there needs to be a system implemented where you can purchase individual items for a set um, amount of uh, silver or silver dust or whatever the hell it is. But other than that, 
Mm, yeah, I thought they were actually bringing in something where you can actually buy individual items. Did I read that wrong? I must have, because it doesn't look like there's anything here you can... Well, you can't just take a selection, but they did say everything that they sell within these dawning events and in Bright Engrams might be up for sale across this uh, three-week event. Did they say that? I'm pretty sure they did, but yeah, who knows? Who knows? December Moose, that looks pretty... Yeah, that's epic. <laughs> yeah, that's epic. Probably the best one I've seen. And then we have this one right here. A Viper Diamond. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good too. That's pretty good too. Um, so let's see what we have in shaders and mods. Now, we've got four new shaders and the rest are the standard lots. So we've got Dawn in Brilliance. Let's see what this looks like on my new Monica gear. Because my new Monica gear is where it's at, people. It's where it's at, people. That's pretty cool. What else we got? Dawn in Hope. Uh, see, see now that looks sexy. That just looks sexy. Um, what else we got? We have Dawn in Warmth. Uh, let's see. Nothing mm, great. And then we have Dawn in Festiveness. And what we're going to have here. So that looks pretty cool too. I'm a big, big fan of blue. So yeah, I like that as two. But yeah, guys, that is it. What you get besides all these transmat effects and rubbish. Um, yes, that is basically it, people. Now you can purchase these, as we can see here. They cost bright dust. Now whether or not the whole selection of what she has within these um, Dawn and Engrams will be up for purchase here. So one day or another, who knows, but hopefully that is the case so we can purchase individual items that we want. But hey, guys, that is it for another video and that is what Tess Eververse will be offering throughout this dawning event. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, drop a like if you did. Thanks to always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.